Hi, it's Tina from Ideas and Embellishment, and I thought I would jump on here and um, and talk to you guys for a few minutes. I had had somebody, a couple people who have said that they really wanted to, um, they really like hearing Leo in the background, my bird, and um, so, and I know you guys have heard dogs barking and different things like that, so I thought I would give you a little tour of my craft room and show you what my babies look like. So, um, so I will <laughs> I'll start now and I'm not sure how good I am. I'll walk around with my phone and show you guys what, what's what, but, um, um, hopefully this will show you. One of the things I do want to emphasize is my craft space is extremely tiny. Um, I have half, basically half of a dining room that used to be a dining room that I turn into my craft space. I don't have a dream box. I, and, I, and I've thought about it, um, but I made my craft table and I really love it. And so um, anyway, so I've, I'll just show you guys what I'm talking about. So we walk into my craft room. And as we walk in, we hear Leo. This is a cube unit. There's a rug stand on top of this. It's kind of messy. This is where I have a bunch of the, um, I have um, journals, hello, that I have finished about keeping. Um, I have my ukulele collection there. And I have my um, puppet figure collection. <laughs> Um, over here, there is a cart and it has most of the things that I don't uh, use very often. I have a wicker chair here. I covered it up with a blanket because the cat kept trying to tear it to pieces. Um, this, in this closet, I have stuff that I don't use very often, but I will go in there, um, occasionally. Um, stuff on the walls. Here's Leo's cage, and everybody's been saying they wanted to see him. I don't know how cooperative he'll be, but I can put him in there. Hello, Leo. Sorry for my finger. Can you say hi? Can you say hi, Leo? Can you say pretty bird? Can you say good boy? Good boy. Good boy. Is that a good boy? Good boy. That's kind of kind of close. It's kind of close. Yeah. Yeah. So that's the that's Leo. I'm closing this cage. Over here is a. We'll come back out. Over here, I had this drawer thing that I bought at a consignment shop, and I, it was cardboard. It's cardboard, but I put um, pencils pencil, what do you call it? Pencil. Popsicle sticks, but they're the big ones. I put those on here and covered it up and stained it and then put these on here with labels. So I think they're kind of cool. Over here is a, let's see, I'll go out farther. Right here is a, um, one of those over the shoe things that you put your shoes in. And I put punches in there. <laughs> my punches. Um, here is my stash of cardboard and packaging some old books that I will never never destroy these are some um, journals that hopefully will find new homes one day I have plants okay and this is uh, another cart I keep a lot of things like pens and glue and stuff like that and on this side is, I got this on Amazon, I love it. Um, I just keep a lot of ephemera in there when I do, I cut it up and put it there. Um, this is my sewing machine right here. It's a, I think it's just a, a singer. Yeah, I got it at Joann's. Um, this is a thing, I got this at uh, Tuesday morning. It was broken and I just fixed it. And it's got alphabet stamps in here, right here. These are all of um, 
the liquid pearls and down here is my or my stickles and I've got my ink sitting there I don't really have a room for everything um, I need to every time I do some what do you call it organizing I get more stuff it just gives me room for more stuff um, there's a little sidekick right there and some ephemera some some of my plants that definitely need water down there I just keep extra different papers and I have a bin here that I keep scrapbook paper in. Um, this is a little card. I have my sidekick on there. Um, card stock. And on the bottom shelf is um, stamps. Some stamps. I have a bucket that has a bunch of paintbrushes. I have this um, the storage cube. This here. I keep all my um, wooden stamps in there goes there here's another one of those cube units i bought these things from i think it was michael's and this is the cardstock that i use most of the time there's like white and brown and black and um, paper just some paper um this is one of um what this is is a thing that you use for pot pot holders pot tops pot tops you put them in your in your under your sink i guess or in your drawer but i use it to keep all my trimmers and things and on this one is oh just different papers and the bottom is paper bags and old books on the very bottom is this thing that I keep all my breads and stuff in and this is where I keep all my tools uh, right there is a file cabinet, which I have files in there, mostly for the animals. And then right here is a little thing I got. You're supposed to hang it over your sink, I guess. But I keep my, um, keep this in there. Um, and on top of this is a shelving unit. And I have these two things that I got from Michaels that have um, different cardstocks in them. And here's where I have all my um, watercolors. Um, the next shelf is my embossing supplies. I have that net, alcohol inks, just different things that I use. Um, and here is some journals and a uh, little, I have everything labeled um, like this, more journals up there is my laminator. And this is a thing of envelopes. So, right there is all my distress sprays. This is a Lego of uh, Harry Potter. My son made me. Uh, right here is my pegboard. And it has, let's see. Sorry if this is making y'all dizzy. I have a hammer. I have different punches. I, this is a, uh, just a curtain rod that I put here, and my punches fit there really nicely. The ones that I use all the time. The little punches are here. These are ones that I use a lot. Um, let's see. And then on my desk, I have just my lamp that I need a new shade for, a clock. This is an um, ink stand that I got from Amazon. Keep my glue here. This is the vintage photo that I use more than I use anything I guess I have this on a I have these acrylic stands I got that idea from Barbara 49 dragonflies I thought that was a great idea because you can put stuff underneath them underneath mine I have post-it notes I have this little thing I got at the thrift store and it's got clips in it this is a little my water and it's made so you can you know keep a paintbrush right there and here is um, just where I keep the tools I use the most. And I keep my water right here. Oh, and my coffee is back there. And the keyboard comes out. This is the desk that I made. Um, it has got these off of Amazon. And I put, uh, I had a piece of MDF, a big thick, and I put another piece of plywood on top and stained it. And I love it. It's very, very sturdy. Underneath my desk, I keep um, this bin, uh, and I put scrap paper in. I take it to the recycle, 
And here is a little cart that I have. It comes out. It has my typewriter on it. This is a very old typewriter, and it has, um, there's a couple of bins to keep vinyls and other kinds of things. This is, I just keep my fabric right here in this basket. And there's my um, drill. I keep my drill right there. Over here is another shelving unit. Right here I have my business cards. I have some homemade stamps. Um, different bins with twine. Here's my cinch and my misty. Um, I got this at the thrift store. I thought it was kind of cool. It's got different um, things that somebody's typed. I thought it was kind of neat. So I just, every once in a while, I don't know, I'll stick one of those in a journal. Um, I have my sign. I have this that I got as a going away present when I left my job. It's dusty. As you can tell, I don't use it very often. <laughs> Um, down here are, this is what I, my sewing, this is stamps, um, this is, and I have washi tape over there, over here, up there is where I keep my stencils and my, what do you call it, rub-on stickers, and then down there is just books, dictionary books. This is my printer, it's an Echo Tank. ET2850. And next to it is, right now it's really messy, but next to it is my Cricut. And this is where I keep my, um, it's messy, my label maker. And this bin, I keep my alcohol, alcohol inks and my tape. Okay, now this is my little Piper. She is my Chihuahua. She's so sweet. Look at that face. She's so pretty. <laughs> Sorry, she's so cute. And then over there on the sofa is my cattle dodge. Um, his name is Dakota. So that's my family. Hi. <laughs> okay, this is kind of weird for me because I am not used to being on camera. In fact, this is probably the first time I've ever done this. Um, but, um, Full disclosure, uh, gray, um, hair, glasses, no makeup, there you go. And um, I hope you guys ignored the messiness of my house when I was showing you around because it's messy. And uh, I'm retired, so I don't really care. Um, anyway, <laughs> I hope you guys like this tour of my craft room. Let me know in the comments if you saw any ideas that you thought would be cool that you'd like to implement into your own space. Um, as you can see, I don't have a lot of space um, and I do share it with uh, animals and my other hobby um, of the playing the ukulele, which I don't do often enough, but um, and it's kind of grown over the year. Um, I did look up, just so you know, um, Leo the bird, he's only two months old, so um, we're making progress and I really love having him here and um, as I do the other dogs. So anyway, leave me a note, like and subscribe, share, all of that good stuff. And until next time, I'll see you later.